top line if you feel the top line. And so what happens is... <laughs> oh yes, very hot. So what happens is the... There's, there's only so air in here. Him. And that so air heats him up. It's a, co uh, uh, a coil inside this tank. And inside that tank, yeah, that coil is in direct contact with the water. And that's how it heats it up. And these inside these are evacuated tubes, so it's a vacuum. There's there's no there's not very much air in there, so it it, it, it accepts the heat very very nicely, and then it, it uses that to heat these, and it's very very efficient, something like 99 percent efficient. Even on some of the more basic models, like um, I, I I venture to say that one of these, this guy right here, is probably one of the more basic models. Um, and this is second generation because these tubes are very small. Ones that they use more more often, and I don't see them. So this is already this is already a more advanced system here than I've seen before. So um, this would be like a basic model. Even these are very very efficient, uh, just because it's and, and if it works in China where the cost of living is very very low, then it can work anywhere else. And so these are the kinds of things that we need to see more of in the United States, Australia, uh, the UK, and these will help to reduce the the amount of, of money people spend on electricity to heat water. So even gas, yeah, gas right now is, is lower around the world, but if you've seen the history of, of the natural gas, you know, it's just in a decline now, but it's likely to go up because of the nature. It is of a fossil fuel. It is, you know, they're not making any more of it. No more dinosaurs are dying. So um, this is, this is going to be what is going to help. Number one, it's going to help the solar PV that we install on houses because it's going to cut the amount of energy required to heat this water. And number two, it's going to, you know, just make wa hot water much more available, readily available for uh, for uh, homeowners. And even as we've seen around here in Qingdao, these apartment complexes all have these solar thermal water heaters. Now, as soon as the sun is up, they're already starting to work because the infrared radiation is bouncing from the atmosphere. And as soon as the sun starts, it's going to start heating up. So this is this is. This right here is the Chinese version of the systems that are going to be saving a lot of Americans, Australians, and British citizens money on their bills. Okay, I have a question. And now, do the tubes come out? What happens if one cracks, or what happens? Okay. They come out, and they're they like this. Out. And they fit directly into this slot in here. And it's sealed. It naturally will seal itself when there's water inside. Okay. And they just, you just, if, they, oh, yeah. if it breaks, you just replace it, and there you so, go. Very simple. Very simple. There, there, are, there are ways of tightening these down yeah, because these are these are sample it, models. Well. They're not tightened in, so normally I wouldn't be able to do that without having to to play with it. These are some of the, the seal seal styles here, and uh, these these aren't on correctly either. But these are designed to keep them in place in, in the event of high wind velocities mm -hmm. and and other things. Um, so this is the uh, this is the future right here.